Hello again ladies and gentlemen, this is Anthony at Firewalls.com and today we're going to be discussing Application Control. I got to this page by going to Subscription Services and Application Control. You can see here there's already an Application Control action that was created by default, as well as a list of firewall policies that can have Application Control applied. For now we're going to go ahead and add a new Application Control action. We're going to call this one Productivity. And there are several ways that we can select the applications that we want to edit. For starters, we're currently showing all categories, but we can narrow that down to, say, social networks. Then you'll notice that this list isn't in any particularly useful order, so we're going to click Application to put it in alphabetical. Next, you'll notice that there are several entries for Facebook. This is because you can select individual portions of the application rather than blocking it as a whole. But for now, we're going to go ahead and select all of these. Then we're going to come down here with all of our applications selected, hit edit. Our default here is to drop the application. You can see that's changed over here in action. Now let's say we don't want to scroll through this list, so we'll come up here, search for Twitter. Then since that's the only thing that's going to come up, we can select the checkbox up here to highlight all. Once again, edit, select drop. Another thing we can do is to come down here, select by categories. So we know, for instance, we're going to block all instant messengers, all media streaming service, online games, and web instant messengers. Then let's say, for instance, we've realized that we blocked all media streaming, but we need to open up YouTube, so we come up here to Media Streaming Services. Then we can select our application. You notice it's currently dropped by category, but we can go ahead and edit that to be an allow. You'll also notice that it has several different behaviors that we can select individually. And if we were doing traffic management, we could do that here. Go ahead and save. Now there are several ways to apply our action. We can either select the firewall policies here, go to select action, set them to the global or new productivity. Make sure of course that you save. Alternatively, we can come into firewall, firewall policies, select our policy here, go up to application control, and either apply a new policy or create a new one altogether. Once again, we make sure we save. And there you have it. You can see your application control listed here. And now you know how to update or create new actions. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give us that like. Subscribe for future videos. If you have any other firewalling needs, you can check out firewalls.com. Where, as always, we remind you to get secure, stay secure. Thanks.